What's up, guys? Welcome to another kind of funny live reaction. This time we are live reacting to the Ubisoft Forward <laughs> event. As always, I'm Tim Geddes. I'm joined by Greg Miller. For the three people who understand, we are the ant. All right. We are the ant. We are the Blessing ant. At AOEA Jr. What's up? How's it going? And Andy, Maximum Cortez. This is weird messaging <laughs> from all of us. They, weird they, they couldn't hear me. They couldn't hear me. They couldn't oh, hear man. you when you when you stopped the show and then Tim just talked to you? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right for us. That sounds about right for today. That seems about to be the batting average as we get ready for Ubisoft Forward 2020. And man, oof. What a fucking weekend for you. <laughs> yeah, Come on, man. dude. Man. Holy fucking shit. If you're not aware, ladies and gentlemen, I'm reading from GameSpot.com, where Tamor Hussein writes, multiple senior Ubisoft executives stepped down following abuse allegations. Uh, this published yesterday when all this news was breaking. Uh, it's been updated as of this morning, though. Jeez, what? Nearly an hour ago as we're getting ready for Ubisoft Forward. Serge has coat. Yanis Malat and Cecil Cornett, three senior executives at Ubisoft, are stepping down amidst widespread or, I'm sorry, ac accusations of abuse and promotion of a toxic work culture leveled at the company and these specific individuals. In a statement issued to Ubisoft, or, I'm sorry, in a statement issued to GameSpot, Ubisoft confirmed the departures, saying that Hascott has quote chosen to resign from his position as chief creative officer, officer effective immediately. Although he may not be as public facing as other Ubisoft executives, Hascott, and I know I'm pronouncing wrong i'm so sorry uh held significant influence within the company essentially having the power to green light game development projects and also make key creative decisions of course this also meant that he had significant influence over staff which numerous people have indicated he abused to the point of encouraging a toxic toxic work environment the role vacated by hascott uh, will be taken up by yves gamont uh co-founder and current ceo of ubisoft uh in the interim this goes on like this. Yanis Malad, who is managing director of Ubisoft's Canadian studios, will be stepping down and leaving Ubisoft too. The statement there says the recent allegations have come to light in Canada against multiple employees, making it impossible for him to continue in his position. Uh, going on from there, uh, the Malad person leaving, uh, no, that's not right. As for clarification, sorry, that's a different thing, is leaving the company along with Malad. And finally, they have Cecil Cornett, who is the head of global HR, is also being replaced. According to the statement, she decided to step down from this role as she believes it is the, in the best interest of the company's unity. Uh, Obviously, this is on top of allegations already coming out from uh, uh, what the I would say the video game reckoning from a couple weeks ago about Ubisoft. Uh, Tomorrow's article goes into more of that. Uh, if that wasn't enough, breaking yesterday on the eve of them doing Ubisoft Forward today uh, at eight uh, a.m. and if you're in a different time zone, that's about four hours ago. Ubisoft tweeted out the following statement. Ubisoft Forward comes during a time of big internal change. Because of because all the content has been pre-recorded, we wanted to recognize uh, that the issues we're currently dealing with won't be addressed directly in the show. We still have significant work to do and are committed to this process. We will provide more updates soon. Of course, there's this statement. There's the people getting let go yesterday. And then there's the report we talked about on Games Daily at length throughout last week of Yuzu Gamal talking about shaking up the editorial board and doing all these different things. Uh, so basically, this is a great time to come out and be like, let's look at all our games. Yeah. I yeah. mean, honestly, I think it's better happening before Ubisoft Forward than after. Like, I know sure. when sure. the news is coming out yesterday about all, all the people being let go. Uh, there's so many ex-Ubisoft people that I saw celebrating. And like, from yeah. what I understand, like, this is good news for the most part for people who are at Ubisoft and do recognize that so many of those people were either shitty or just bad leaders. Right. And so, like, Surge, especially as the creative director, I know we're starting now, but Surge, Surge specifically, who was the creative director that was let go, um, I understand is have he had kind of ultimate power when it came to yes. games that got greenlit or greenlit, games that, yeah. um, like, the, the total direction of where we've seen Ubisoft games kind of come over the last generation in terms of them being open world, in terms of them being like these checklist games, in terms of their tone, in terms of all this stuff. And so him, him being like, go specifically is kind of really exciting for the future of Ubisoft. Yusuf. Hey, Yusuf. Hey. Hey. Yusuf. 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 Hey. Remember, hundreds of I'm people Yusuf, work on all these no games. Time to waste. You know what I mean? So Not just these assholes. Of so. futuristic London. We're yeah. looking to that right see now. See what the hackers of DeadSec are getting into. My man. Woo -woo. Love to see it. Remember, of course, uh, Barrett, Courtney, and myself have played Watch Dogs Legion. You can catch our impressions after this on YouTube.com. Slash Gun Messaging over the last few weeks across London are not the work of several people, as was originally believed, but the work of an individual. The criminal suspected to have links with the terrorist group of death 
authorities recommend not to approach the individual. First, they came for the foreigners, and I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. Then, they came for the protesters, and I did not speak out because I was not a protester. A documentary? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, dude, is this? Then they came for the this journalists. Is us. And I did not speak out because I was not a journalist. And then they came for street artists. And that's what I, I did not speak out. out. Because I am not a street artist. I'm Paul Greg. I am the police. <laughs> this is a sick trailer. Yeah, this is really cool. Great spider version. Yeah, it's like straight up into the spider. Yeah, like a little too much. I realized <laughs> that eventually they'd come for me, around. and there would be no one Whoa. left to speak for me. Nice. That's sick as fuck, but it, like, I wish the game looked like that. After a long night, London is in chaos. The main arteries through the city are blocked. Hundreds of heavily armed Albion. Well, well, well. Welcome to the resistance. There's a welcome gift for our new members. But the disappearance of the criminal... Has you could have told me it was a bloody costume party. Try it off. <laughs> the new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, a 43-year-old London taxi driver. He has no criminal record, but is currently believed to be a terrorist. People have been asked not to approach him. The authorities advise all residents... <laughs> That's, yeah, that was really good. That's kind of right. Yeah, that was really cool. I'm Clint Hawking. Clint has been a longtime creative force here at Ubisoft, and now he's bringing this vision to Watch Dogs Legion. Um, so yeah, what we just saw was an amazing short film by the director Alberto Mielgo that uh, was inspired he by Watch Dogs Legion. And yeah. looks at, at the game and the universe and the characters through his incredible uh, artistic vision and visual style. City needs One trick pony, you know, Andy? Like the film, Watch Dogs Legion tells the story of ordinary heroes setting aside their differences in order to come together as a collective and to fight for a positive change. You can literally recruit and play anyone who you see in the open world. You profile people that are interesting to you, you help them with their problem, you play their origin mission. Just help me get some closure and I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a dead sec problem. Leave it to us. And that's how you recruit them into your team. And then they become the heroes of the game and, and the stars of your story. And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Please, think more underground. You with Albion? I'm tickled, but think more underground. <laughs> what, dead sick? <laughs> yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. And they make the story not only, you know, unique to them, but unique to you as the player and, and personal to you because they're, you know, heroes that you've chosen and invested in. What would I say to fans? I guess I'd say, you know, uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Welcome to the resistance. Ah, London.
London town. A modern metropolis built on history and prosperity. Only took 12,000 years to build it up and one night to tear it all down. Oh my God. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. Yeah. With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist, the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep everyone safe. What could possibly go wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Cass, CEO of Albion. He looks like a good guy. He's kindly stepped up to establish order. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize this. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Nigel's not the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Meet Mary Kelly, head of the most powerful crime syndicate in London. Be sure and spread the word. She and her goons are using the dark web to sell everything, from party pills to people. Good old dark web. This dark web. is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You made me a Tim, how, how hard would it be to get to the dark web? You do not want to ruffle not her hard. feathers. Should we start publishing videos on the dark? With the city Probably out on its ass, it now yeah, falls that sounds like a bad idea. To build a resistance and take back London. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Any of the brave Londoners you see walking the streets can be recruited into your team. Like him. Her. Or even her. <laughs> Everyone could become Every time they show this old lady, I love it. <laughs> in our first mission, we need to get some dirt on Nigel Cass, and that means breaking into Albion headquarters inside the Tower of London. All the hard souls Cass you see London? here are people we have recruited from the streets of London. They all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever you like. Dick got my eyes. Badly. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. You think? Like everyone in DedSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction worker, he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. Oh, I thought the car was gonna hit him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can even call his own cargo drone. Perfect for gate crashing when you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. God. That's right. That's cool. Jesus Christ, what is that thing? Perhaps we could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. The old lady. Amy is a drone <laughs> It's not always going to be the old lady, but I want the old lady. A real tech Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Hate spiders, but love this one. What an adorable real way to watch crawler. Like Here we are. Let's class the place up. A drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little darling is fast and stealthy. She aims, she fires, she hits. I'm reading incoming drones. She can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. And if you are not into direct confrontation, there are more ways than one to get the job done. Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might be challenging but it'll get you inside restricted Albion areas. Don't mind me, just doing recon for a bunch of insurgents. However, this do seems anything crazy suspicious you and do she'll it so probably many different wind ways. up with a bullet yeah. in the back of her head. Like, this is honestly, like, like, really selling me. Right after this presentation, I can tell you about it. You <laughs> can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. Can you chat with me right now, just privately, Greg? Sure. 
All right, let me. I'm going to a secure channel. <laughs> Criminals running our streets. Andy, when you Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner <laughs> himself. Yeah, that's my man. Assassinated by terrorists. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and getting a, a stop bad to it. Guy. That's good. The buyers expect high quality stuff. And we need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags, don't disturb me in my natural habitat. Say hello to Mickey. The man lives for his team. That put another air on my chest. And doesn't mind getting his hands dirty. Isn't he getting abusive? Now he's beating you up, Tim. Now he's beating up Tim. Oh, <laughs> he does shot. have a slight drinking problem, though. And he's passed out. Ah, oh, well, we'll come back to him. You know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. Leon. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. <laughs> it's almost crass to call him a hitman. I really hope this is good because this all is really cool. Some might even call him an artist. Damn, soon he legend. Already doing shit over here. Is he really? No, it looks like it right now. <laughs> oh, it looks like one of his gifts. <laughs> Jesus. Here's the He's bastard. doing the up close oh, John Wick gun yeah. 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 Done and dusted. Gunfu. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? In not in everyone it. in London is in a it. legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. A lot of people in chat saying like these accents are so offensive and off. They sound pretty good to me. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they sound like my old watch crew. Find the best recruits and build your resistance. Oh my god. It's time to take back London. How big of a release date? There we go. Thank you. Whoa! Whoa. Holy shit. Oh. Dang, I was way off. into a living, Ooh. breathing Ooh. city, teeming with unique locales and characters. Why was I thinking it was going to be always been a central pillar they of kind of the watch like twenty twenty one. So what huh. goes into building those worlds? Here's Amanda Mutt to tell us more. It coming out so close to Cyberpunk is going to be interesting. My name is Amanda Munch. I'm a level artist. Yeah. Those games have Watch similar Dogs vibes. Legion at Ubisoft Toronto. Being it's a level artist, office, I think, guys. is no the coolest deal. job Whoa. in video games Thank because you. we do get the freedom to to kind of like pick and choose what little details we want to depict, and we get ample opportunities to tell the stories that we want to tell in the spaces that we're assigned to. I have the capacity to hide things and, you know, like small little Easter eggs. In AC Unity, there was a boat somewhere in the world that was covered in cats. And then it happened again in Watch Dogs 2, and there may or may not be something in London that is a boat filled with cats in some capacity. So. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to go to E3 last year. Some of the people that I was showing our demo to were from London, so no matter where I dropped them in the city, they'd go, oh my god, this feels like Camden. This, you know, this feels like Suffolk. Perfect. This feels like Westminster. <laughs> <laughs> when people are talking about some detail that I've put into the world and they're excited about it, like that feels so good as somebody who you know builds these worlds with care. I love it. <laughs> These dumb accents sound perfect. Right, Greg? Yeah, I mean, that was perfect. I, I would hire you. I would hire you. And now some news for Brawl Hollow fans. In just a few weeks, you'll be able to battle it out with your favorite legends on iOS and Android devices. Take off your shirt. Jeez. I was gonna say, he's looking, he's looking like a snack in this video. When does the name, you know? Oh, yeah, facts. It's true. Three, two, one. Batman cut one. your hair. He did cut my hair. <laughs> we didn't get too much time to talk about uh, what we're expecting from this, but like, is there anything that you guys are like hoping we see? 
Bianca and Nemo too. For me, it's it's Rayman and Prince of Persia, as always. Do you think you'll get there? Imran's kind of making me believe Rayman has a shot. Prince, oh, yeah? not a chance in hell. I don't think Rayman has a shot. 2D Just because that simp, that simp. engine, like I, I could see a new Rayman game that is like a totally new style. But I, and from now, what I understand, do they don't like using that uh, Ubisoft art engine, dive back or it's called Ubi art. Beloved fantasy mm. franchises in gaming. Sucks. We've got you covered. It's so small. Man. <laughs> Whoa, might and magic. Now this is some OG PS2 game you don't want to rent at Blockbuster, but it was all that was left. <laughs> and it looked like the other game you really wanted. Exactly. <laughs> it's yeah, I don't crazy. I don't know if there's a game they could announce that would blow me away. Like I just I mean my they, I don't I just don't think that's gonna happen. I feel like this is it's a forty five minute conference, right? We already know it's gonna have Watch Dogs, it's gonna have Assassins, and it's gonna yeah, have uh, Far Cry. Cry. Like I feel like that's your big those are your big beats. I don't I don't hold out hope for a Splinter Cell, Beyond Good and Evil. I mean yeah. I guess yeah. Rayman I could see fitting in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying like, like with these type of things, I'm like Rayman wouldn't need to be a crazy sure. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I have like a really bad feeling about Bianca and Evil I don't know why. Existing I, yeah. they announced it way too fucking like, early. Yeah, just like I feel like that game's gonna be in development hell. Like they <laughs> I don't know why. I would like to see a Nintendo collaboration, like another oh, Mario and Rabbids or I'm something along those lines. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to get it, but I think that'll be really exciting. Is that game you like, Andy? No. <laughs> no. This looks like a... Uh, <laughs> is this a Siege mobile game? This is their yeah, mobile, is. yeah. Elite yeah, Elite Squad. This is the one that has uh, Sam Fisher in it. I think. Oh, yeah. I bet people got excited about, but then we're immediately disappointed by yeah, it's kind of like <laughs> Mass Brothers, but the mobile game strategy. Got that Fortnite art style. Contact. Oh, it's big. Oh. is down. Request air support. Target northeast rooftop. Roger. Inbound. Danger close. I need an EMP deployed now. EMP imminent. Back in your cell. Ah, Whoa! Splinter see that cell. splinter cell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take this. Don't make me regret this. Is that Iron Fist? Nah, that's too, man. Coming soon. Semi-automatic pistol. Exciting. Speaking of Tom Clancy, it's been five years since Rainbow Six Siege first launched, and the community has never been stronger. In celebration of this milestone, Ubisoft Montreal has put together a special video to thank all of the amazing players and developers that have helped Siege become the game it is today. In December 2015, to see a the way it looks when it eventually Rainbow gets Six Siege. next gen, next gen enhancement, you know. Yeah, but I also watch Alfredo stream a lot, and he streams in 4.3 but stretched to 69. Creativity, ridiculous. competitiveness, Why did you do that? <laughs> and because it makes play. the heads bigger to click on. For the player, the premier, what, what, what a cheating bastard! You don't even know, dude. Look, look at you, Nitro Rifle. You're out there. You don't need to use enhancements or any of that, dude. What they're doing. That original vision was quickly adopted by our passionate community. Robot Pluto. You will show the clip of Nick and Greg level. killing Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Real pro level play there. This is such a special moment. And being at one year anniversary of Rainbow Six now, game being uh, stronger than ever, and uh, more players today than we had in the past, it means uh, the world to us. But we also had our share of challenges. Um, health that Thank touches you. upon subject like matchmaking, connectivity, all those aspects are absolutely critical to the experience of the player. Through it all, we're always driven by you, our community, 
Slice Jordan together, says, Greg, have you played uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Can you talk about that? Uh, I have played Assassin's Creed Valhalla. No I can talk about that after this. For the next <laughs> 10 years, so expect more Rainbow Six in your life for quite some time. Tous les succès, c'est vraiment le résultat de autant de nous que de vous. Ce jeu, il est autant le vôtre qu'il est le nôtre, nous, l'équipe de développement. Now, 60 million players strong. We're just getting Damn. started. Yeah, that's a lot of players. <laughs> All in one match. Hey, Amber. From the devs that build the game to the community that plays it, thank you. Thor's Hammer. That's a non free to play game <laughs> with it, 60 million players. That's crazy. That's like if you haven't tried it yet, dive into our people. new Operation Steel people. Wave update available now and take for like a paid Malusi game out for a spin. A few days ago, we introduced y'all to a brand new multiplayer shooter. Now it's time to venture into the hyperscape. Andy, how much you like a hyperscape? It'll be a lot better when I'm better at it. Okay, great. <laughs> I, I mean, that's bad. Like, you said the game sucks. All right, dude. But because I'm really bad at it. But when I started doing good at it, I was like, all right, this game's cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was that? Oh, a hack in a hyperscape. That's not supposed to be there. Let me get you all up to speed, okay? I can't wait for this to come to console. About 30 years ago, everything that we feared about our future mm -hmm. started to come true. We made some good decisions. We made some bad decisions. <laughs> and we made a lot of bad decisions. So here we are. Ten billion souls living in the crush of the mega cities. Mega cities. But the people at Prisma changed everything. Ready player one. I mean, pretty they much, gave yeah. Everyone a way out. The hyperscape. In the hyperscape, the biggest draw by far is Crown Rush. This is where anyone can become someone. <laughs> I don't need hot dog and plays out there, you all right? Exactly, Greg. <laughs> I'd love to see Greg out there in the hyperscape. Sure. I think, I think Greg, Greg, might might have a, no. Greg might have a seizure if he went into the hyperscape. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fast, Greg. It is, it is so fast. When you it guys are done beta fast. testing on a PC, yeah, I'm excited to try it out. If you get good at Crown Rush, it can change your life. But strange things like have been sport. happening lately. Grab it, faster. Rumors of people getting hurt. Oh my god. Users disappearing from the real world. Wait, is there a story mode for this? A no, uh, I don't think so. It's all just like backstory. Back yeah. so like they'll Overwatch probably add more legends to, to buy them. that have stories tied to them or whatever. Some of us are searching for a way up. Some of us for a way out. And for others, I keep saying a way, way out. All together. I will say I don't love the way the character's <laughs> hair looks. To the edge the of the game. future. That's what brings down eight for you, right? Flat <laughs> game, yeah. Hyperscape. Hyperscape. I'm really excited JC, for this game. creative director on Hyperscape. JC's work on Far Cry Primal and multiple Prince of Persia titles has established hey. him as a top creative here at Ubisoft. For me, what's exciting is uh, we started uh, building it from scratch, uh, seeing it grow, uh, adding ideas uh, is really cool. Hello, contender. Welcome to the hyperscape. The game takes place in 2054. It's in a future where humanity has grown a little darker. One of the, the companies there, they are launching what's called the hyperscape, which is a virtual world and the internet of the future. It's the place where everything converges. Uh, within the virtual world, there is a battle royale that takes place in the virtual city of Neo Arcadia. Start rapping, Greg. 
do in the hopscape now? What you gonna do now? <laughs> no, you thought I wouldn't do it, but I was there and I fucking things. killed it. <laughs> you get the opportunity to do parkour on the rooftops, to go into interiors where it's much more narrow, much more stressful. Uh, you get to go to the landmarks where there's more uh, opportunities to get cool items, but also more players, so it's a risk reward kind of deal. I think they've. I think they've nailed the everything hacks, to differentiate them from every other battle royale. It's yeah, really fucking 100%. good. With hacks, yeah. you can do things That's why like I'm you like, I, everybody who asked me this, somebody uh, was asking me, like, is this game uh, going to be successful field? when there's so many other battle royale so games out there? And I'm like, this game is gonna, it's gonna create its own like space for itself. It's so different from everything else. Finally, it's made as a spectacle, so all the viewers will be able to interact with the game on different levels through the Twitch extension. So every few minutes, there's going to be a vote, and viewers will be able to decide. Did you get to use this, Andy? Want to when you oh, yeah. Was this available? Things like changing oh, yeah. the gravity, uh, infinite was it cool? ammo, yeah. or stuff like yeah, that. That's cool. The chat would always vote happens, for like low, have to low gravity to events, kinds of stuff uh, that is or the happening. triple jump. You know, really cool. So cool. for me, it's really exciting because right now, as we speak, we are launching the open beta, and so it's going to be available for uh, free to play for all PC players. Right worldwide. now. And I really want to thank all the uh, players, all the streamers, and all the viewers who participated in tech test and uh, who will participate in the open it. beta. Here's a short glimpse of what you can expect. They're probably waiting for next gen, right? I think they said uh, summer. On PC okay. consoles, yeah. I, I can't wait for. Um, Watch and learn how it's done. I know a lot of people hate in battle royales whenever skill-based matchmaking is introduced, but this is a game that absolutely needs it. Um, oh yeah. Everybody that when I was playing, everybody else that was playing were other streamers that had access to the closed beta, and they were all fucking good. <laughs> like everybody we were playing against was just incredible. Yeah, and this game is very skill-based. It's so fast. It's so it's so moving and aim heavy, you know. Yeah. I like how the districts seem to each have their own kind of color scheme. Yeah. Cool yeah. Call outs and stuff. Yeah. But just the way the cities break down, I think it's like the smartest way to make that idea new instead of just a circle closing in. Yeah. Whoa, new new weapon. Oh. New hack. Ooh, what do you think the new hack is? Oh, it is now. Andy, you playing later today? Me, you. Blessing, don't do this to me, Blessing, okay? Yeah, I got this new PC. I could actually run it. Oh, shit! Gave our yeah, artists man. and developers incredible freedom okay. when it came to designing characters. Production manager Anna Maria Muska is going to take us behind the scenes of character design. My name is Anna Maria Muska. I'm the production manager Dope. for characters and weapons on Hyperscape. We yeah, have we'll paid you. an exceptional amount of detail to our characters. We switch. As far as I understand, outfits, the characters don't change anything. Statements, different like tattoos, gameplay different wise. materials until we see them as real. So it's kind of hard for me to get excited about as this. As real people. Yeah. So the second you pick a character, you see them in game, you understand what their, also, their motivations their are and glossy. what drives them and what challenges them. 8.5. This was the first <laughs> lineup of characters. This is our default base, but even starting from the hair down, everything has been meticulously thought of with this person. The shiny hair down. Like See, shiny hair. Oh, it is really tiny. That's Enjoy the future. The type of it's a, it's a different shader is what it is. Well, they like, like I think Overwatch does an incredible job with their spot. hair shaders. Each season, we plan to produce new outfits for these Plastic characters. Plastic hair, you know? So we're hoping yeah, some of sure, our players sure. are going to see the effort and maybe even correlate some of the accessories to what's going to happen in the game. We're very excited. And there are, there are no voice lines, hands. right? When we played from the characters. Uh, As we move into the next generation of gaming, I don't, I don't think there Ubisoft were. Ubisoft has been working closely with console makers to take and advantage so, like, it's kind of hard of all the extraordinary capabilities about characters. these new consoles will offer. Now we have a special guest to tell us a little more. Phil Spencer. Hey everyone. Whoa. Phil Spencer from Xbox. With Watch Dogs Legion, Ubisoft is supporting smart delivery. So you will get the absolute best version of the game on any version of Xbox you're playing on. On Series X, you'll get to take advantage of the amazing work the team has done with DirectX ray tracing to create an absolutely immersive version of London like you've never seen before. Ubisoft has a unique ability to create immersive worlds, setting a new bar that continues to drive our industry forward. I'm a huge fan 
of Assassin's Creed. At what point do you think they I send him the an actual mic? I spent exploring the world in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Because <laughs> like this is like the fifth you to see like presentation where he's been this quality. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> and at a certain point, now. it's like, you know, all right, let's help you out. I know you've been waiting to hear more about this game since it was we announced be that in hero. April. We could be that hero. We could be. And now it's time we for send him a care dive package. into the world of Vikings. Such a good My name is Julien Laferriere, and I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So a couple of weeks ago, we announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and the reaction from the fans was just amazing. The time period of Vikings is really, really inspiring. When we did our research, we found that, you know, there were not mindless barbarians. Vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle. Transition. And so they had really human It's like motivation. how to train your dragon. So for us to have this opportunity to tell kind of the real story about Vikings and kind of separate ourselves from the myths and the folklore is really something that drove us to, to make this game. The real the story about Vikings Norway and England that involves time the same roads that the Vikings did to really experience what it meant to be a Viking at that time. And then leaving Norway, yeah, we, when which we can is fly again, we barren but majestic, and just coming and by then boat we go to the Shire. in England and see <laughs> those rolling green hills full Rick, of did New Zealand's right there next thing. Is that Creed Odyssey and Origins? Did they do like the present, most present day stuff? The Vikings yeah. felt okay. as well. You I didn't know that was still a thing. Of, yeah, no, Animus the and all that still a thing. And okay. this is exactly I would love it. They're like, in Valhalla, we, we said, want players fuck to the Animus stuff. Listen, you're just a goddamn Viking, all right? Enjoy it. It is honestly, adventure. I would love it. It is the story of Eivor, a Viking chieftain. Eivor is either a male or a female. You decide when you start the game. They will have to leave Norway to settle in England because you just can't live in Norway anymore. There's too much political pressure, no resources available. Obviously in England, it's full of Anglo-Saxons and other people and they don't really want you there. So you will have to fight your way there to kind of build your own settlement and see your clan prosper. Vikings were brutal warriors. Shields! That'd be so scary. And the fact that they were mastering a lot of weapons coming from the medieval times really inspired us to kind of revamp the fight system. Every time I think, of, every time I hear medieval times, the I think leverage, of the brutality and the intensity or not of Vikings. Um, um, Rainy 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 Vikings were not only fighting face to face, the they guy. were masters of stealth and deception when needed. They used basically any sort of tactics they could use to win the battle. So we want to portray the full range of combat that you can imagine coming from the Vikings. Fuck you. Oh. Jesus. We are very happy to finally be able to show you the game we've all been working on. So please enjoy this deep dive into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 10 seconds of gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Spencer Stay comes up laughing. for the next event. <laughs> 10 minutes so we can talk. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you will relive the epic Valhalla. saga of the Viking invasion of England. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal, to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties. A land of opportunity and riches. As you prowl England's rivers by longship, you may raid locations you spot from the shoreline. Ground your ship and blow your horn to lead your raiding crew into battle. JD Neal in the chat says, do something crazy! <laughs> <laughs> Take that guy's head off. Oh man, I love a flaming arrow. Burn these houses, boys. Your crew will assist you in all your raids, fighting enemies, 
battering. Wait, are you the bad guy? And this doesn't seem right. Too heavy for the house is for all boys by Nolan North. <laughs> We're burning! <laughs> Help! You used to develop your settlement, giving you access to useful services, better tools, and new settlers. At the heart of your settlement is the Alliance map. It will serve as a record Dragon Age, of the allies shit. you have made, and a guide for future opportunities. <laughs> the Viking Age was a time of warriors and legends. Yeah, I got Valhalla, to the left. You will find the largest variety of enemies ever Whoa. assembled in an Assassin's Creed game. Whoa! This guy's fat. I, 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 yeah, I really want to play this. a unique challenge. Me too. Some I'm in the mood, man. Some with their allies for special attacks, while others will use nearby objects to their advantage, including the bodies of fallen warriors. Holy shit. To face these attacks, you must find and exploit your opponent's weaknesses to gain the upper hand. Take the fight to your foes with a host of brutal new combat abilities. Snare them with a the Viking harpoon. Oh, Jesus. Pummel them with throwing axes. Oh, my God. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep oh, them at a distance. Or finish them off. <laughs> Dual wield any two weapons you wish to unleash a deadly combination of attacks. Customize your fighting style as you see fit and become a legendary Viking warrior. The other guy's like, stop! <laughs> Please, Mina! You can take whatever you want, just let him live! I don't want to fight! <laughs> All combinations of weapons are available to dual wield, including two shields. Was the camera this oh, far back in Yeah, the uh, camera's really far. Yeah. Nah, Origins nah, and Odyssey? This is, no, this is, this is the new camera angle. Wait, you person. can dual wield two shields? Shield? Shield? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's Fuck you, Captain America. That's dope. A Viking must find a Kevin, and guess what that means? Two pizzas you can hold. As Eivor is not welcome in England, <laughs> you may need to outsmart two your big enemies, pizza. avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling cities. Finally, you know? Use Eivor's hood and cloak Make to blend with crowds, and slip past watchful eyes. An unseen hunter among the people. Wow. This guy's fucking marked From for capital death. cities He's and so villages dead. to the dense forests and rolling hills of England, exploration is vital to keeping yourself sharp. You must feed off the land if you hope to endure. Use bow and arrows and forage to replenish your health. Whoa! And oh, what the fuck? Oh my God! It's Fenrir. Wolves were bigger back then. Dude, pagan <laughs> temples kicked him in the and stomach. Roman ruins for new activities and challenges to strengthen yourself. And your settlement. I love how colorful explore, everything's looking, dude. The yeah. more of England's secrets you will reveal. Just give me purple and teal. Like I'm in. <laughs> but as you push deeper into England, the deeper. enemy will push back. In a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle against heavily guarded Saxon fortresses. Today, we will reclaim her. Still can't Today, tell if you're the good guy. For your land. And tomorrow, I mean, you you, you just wanted to come and immigrate peacefully, but England won't have it. Like, so far, they've not told me what the, the other guys have done to deserve this. Transport you to wondrous and haunted lands. Inspired by it's gonna, like, expand on her dialogue. England's Fight for these lands. We are the bad guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Thrilling triumphs and tragic losses, <laughs> giving you the chance to live your own Viking saga. Oh! Jesus, I don't need to see that. that. That looks awesome as shit, dude. Yeah, I'm into it. And I haven't even seven. seen or Dude, heard that's within Greg 30 Black. days. Watch 9th century dogs. England is truly unlike anything the franchise has that's seen crazy. before. Assassin's Creed Valhalla were released this do? holiday season on Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PS4, Far Cry December, PC, and Stadia. We're close to wrapping up today, but before we go, our CEO oh, is that Cyberpunk changed their day? Share a few Never words. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Delayed again. <laughs> I hope you will have enjoyed what you have seen today, and that you will love playing these games. I'm proud of our teams for delivering an ambitious, 
broad and creative lineup of games. And we haven't shown you everything yet. In fact, we have a lot more to come. So you will have another Ubisoft forward to reveal even oh. more about our upcoming games. Cool, I like but that. But before ending this show, we have one more thing to share with you. Cry 6. Yes. Just show me Giancarlo Esposito. Let's it's do all, this. Already. Already. Good enough for you? Let's do this. Sangre por sangre. Shakira. Is it that Shakira? That's what I was I was like, do I, I don't know Shakira's last name. <laughs> No, it's a different one. Yeah, I think her last name is Shakira because it's Shakira, Shakira. No, I yeah. Oh, shit, you're right. Shakira doesn't have a last name. I think <laughs> Shakira, it's just Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plus that was the best thing you've ever seen. Left is on fire. Yeah. Thank you. It's this new microphone angle. <laughs> and the new camera and the haircut. I think we gotta work on your gain after this. Is hot. Probably. Is it too high or too low? Too high. Look look at it though. You can see it. It's like as no, low as possible. It, but his computer settings are probably higher. Yeah. But you want me to log in your computer and fix it? No, I can fix it. Because I have like multiple things I can get into. But I can do. do it right now. I mean, I can also do it right now. Okay, well. She's Yolanda. Whoa. Race. That's pretty dope. Here, oh. let me do Boss. Greg, what's the deal with Boss? Why do people love him so much? He was oh cool, man. man, insanity. Nacho Varga. Kevin, Thanks, do you Greg. know the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over and expecting different outcomes. Far cry. <laughs> Kevin, unmute yourself. Or mute yourself. This kid is definitely Voss. He's got to be, right? I was muted, Greg. It's beautiful. Thanks, amigo. Perfect. Did you see but the thing where in the key art, uh, when he's standing in front of Giancarlo, Giancarlo's collar looks like devil horns? No. That's cool. Papa. Now, the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? Breathe, Diego. Breathe. The pin. I just put it in the random slack. The handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Follow me. Now. Oh, that's cool as hell. <laughs> I am El Presidente, which means that someday you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves. They will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. Diego. Diego. Ay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Diego, no! <laughs> <laughs> ah, game over. <laughs> The credits are rolling. Time paradox. That was good, Randy. I oh, like so that they will answer you with screams. Call you evil. A monster. And give you this. So you 
tell me, are you evil? Are you a monster? It's like this grenade, except it has two basic parts. Our people. And you. And you must clutch them nice and tight, or we all go. Boom. Cell Chaos Theory 2. And with that, we're wrapping up our first Ubisoft Forward. Today, we've seen the next generation of Assassin's Creed, the birth of a resistance in Watch Dogs Legion, the cyber chaos of Hyperscape, and the epic reveal of Far Cry's newest installment, along with so much more. The epic Remember, reveal that you knew we'll nothing about. We'll be back about. later this year <laughs> with another Ubisoft Forward filled with tons of game news and updates. Later this year. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Doubling down. What do you think of that? Bless. That's wild, wild man. That's when we get the Beyond Good and Evil. Yeah, man. Gods and Monsters. Gods and Monsters. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, okay. welcome to the Ubisoft Forward post show. My name is Yusuf cool. McGeed, and this is Our Yusuf. Ladies and How can you be everywhere? This has been <laughs> our live reactions to the Ubisoft Forward, the first Ubisoft Forward, apparently, of, of many, many more to come. Uh, we're about to do the One post show more. analysis. If you're watching live here on twitch.tv slash kind of funny games, stay here. We'll be right here. Otherwise, go to youtube.com slash kind of funny games and look up the kind of funny games cast where we will do our post show analysis. You can also find that in podcast form. Just search for kind of funny games cast. Love you guys.